If you are a beginner surfer, picking a beginner surfboard is probably a daunting task. There are hundreds, if not thousands of options out there on the market. And your first inclination is probably to go do some research online, check out the great brands that are out there, check out the new surf technology. But what I say to that is don't, don't go there. Just wait one second, watch this video, and you'll learn how to pick the right surfboard for you. As an award-winning surfing yoga camp, we have decades of teaching people how to learn to surf on beginner surfboards. As a beginner surfer, you don't want to start on a shortboard. You don't want to go too small too quickly. What ends up happening when we go too small too quickly is we don't get the reps in to be able to build a strong foundation. I made that mistake when I was 12 years old and nearly gave up on surfing. So don't do that. Don't go that path. What we're looking for is a board anywhere between 7 to 10 feet. Why do we want that? We want a board that can float us for paddling. We want a board that has volume for flotation because that provides us stability. And the more stability we have, the easier it is for us to stand up. The more times we stand up, the stronger our surf foundation is. So remember, go big, don't go small. To get started, we recommend purchasing a soft top surfboard. And we really like these NSP soft tops. The ones that we typically use at Bodhi are called the P2s. You can go online and check those out. They actually have a soft outside, and then inside they have stringers, which run from the nose to the tail to add strength. And the reason why we like them is because they're durable. And for us, sustainability is key. So having a board that lasts a long time means less waste. Less waste means less things going into our ocean. And it's easy, actually, for you to learn how to stand up on a surfboard but it's much more difficult to get you to stand up for the ocean. So do that by making a conscious purchase and get yourself a good beginner soft top board that will last long. Remember, the beginner board needs to be big. It needs to be able to provide stability so you get those reps in. Again, don't go too small too quickly. Any board between seven and 10 feet. New soft boards will run anywhere between two and $400, but you might be able to get a used one for 100. Remember, look for something that's durable. Here are a few takeaways from this video that I'd like to go over. Number one, remember, don't go too small too quick. Number two, buy a used board as long as it's in good condition. Number three, make sure it's a soft top board that will protect you and others. Number four, make sure the size is right for you. Check out that guide. And last but not least, get some beginner surf instruction. Check out our Learn to Surf PDF guide. Check out and watch our Learn to Surf series on YouTube. And don't forget, the most important thing is to come visit us for a week-long surfing yoga camp down here.